Hi, I'm Blake, and this is the $1,000 Treat DVD Retail Arbitrage Challenge. Oh, geez, almost fell over, and while I have your attention, please remember, like the video, and subscribe. Hi, my name is Blake, and I may have made a huge, huge mistake. What am I doing here? Well, I've challenged myself with a thousand random Dollar Tree DVDs, and I'm going to try and sell these as quickly as possible for as much money as possible. Let's see if I either found a way to make some cash or I lost a thousand dollars. Why am I doing this? Well, I like to challenge myself, and by buying a thousand random Dollar Tree DVDs, I'm forced to figure out creative ways to sell them all. Whenever you impose limitations on yourself, such as not scanning the DVDs in the store to see if they're profitable, you're forced to figure out new ways to sell stuff, new creative ways to make money, and the more ways you have to make money, the better off you are. So my hope is that you, by watching this video, you learn not only how to sell these dollar store DVDs, but also look at the way I analyze problems to make the most money and apply it to your life. Before we get started, I will be selling these on eBay on Amazon and at a local auction so if you can't sell them on Amazon don't worry some of the info will apply to you too look how it buckles the table so I went out and bought these all I just randomly drove to every Dollar Tree in my area and I bought every single DVD yes every single DVD off the shelf we have a mixture of regular DVDs and blu-rays as well the first step I have to do is figure out what my criteria is for if I sell it individually or if I sell it in bulk. Let's just see a few of the titles we got. Vamos a cantar! Uh, rejoice and shout! Space Warriors! Fame, season one. So there's a few series in here. There's some Blu-rays like this. There's some regular DVDs. I'm also kind of worried that some of these are going to be remainder DVDs. So uh, the same way that we've seen marks with a permanent marker on books, we might see some permanent marker marks on these DVDs. I haven't checked them previously, so I don't know, but I would not be surprised if some of these end up being unable to be sold as new. We also have tons of duplicates. These are all Sabrina, the Teenage Witch animated series, something or other like that. Uh, that's going to play into this too. I encourage you, watch the entire video because I don't think there's going to be anyone out there who makes a more in-depth Dollar Tree DVD video than I do. Hey, we found it right there. You see this right there? That's a remainder mark. I might be able to remove it with, like, alcohol, um, but if there are any permanent marker marks or any cut marks on the DVD, those are ones that we would have to uh, make sure we, we talk about in the listing. So I just sat down did the math, and I have this all outlined on my website. I have a link below. The website is wbkalter.com, and I talk about this in way, way, way more detail than I do in the video. Uh, the video is just to give you guys a general idea, and then the blog post really breaks it down in, uh, in great detail. So I have to sell these on Amazon for at least $7.57 to make a dollar profit. If the sales rank is below 150K, that's 150,000 for those of you who don't know what K means. Uh, and if the sales rank is above 150,000, I have to sell it for at least uh, $18.66 and that gives me a $10 profit. I have that 150,000 sales rank delineation because below that sales rank, I will FBA them because they're going to sell in about three months and it's not really going to affect my uh, seller metrics that much and I'm only paying about a penny in fees per month per, per DVD. Uh, the sales rank above 150k, that's because I don't want to have my sell-through weight become super low because there's DVDs sitting on the shelf uh, at Amazon Fulfillment Center for months and months and months. I'd rather just have them here at my warehouse. Uh, it's not really a necessary um, separation to make, but I do it just because I would say it's a best practice. A lot of people say, oh, eBay's so much better because the fees are lower. And yes, the fees are lower, but they also have less traffic and certainly less traffic from media like this. The reason Amazon can charge more for media is, guess what? They sell more media on the platform. The higher the demand for DVDs is, the more they can charge you in fees. Do I like this? I don't know. It doesn't really 
makes sense to focus on fees when profit is the thing we're trying to optimize for. This is the Amazon Seller app. It's the free app that Amazon lets all Amazon sellers use. And what I can do is click this little icon right here and begin scanning DVD covers and barcodes. You can scan the barcode, and I'll just take off this blue sticker uh, to reveal the original barcode. What these blue stickers are is they're a generic SKU for all DVDs. So when this gets scanned at Dollar Tree, it doesn't say Viking Quest. It says April Input DVDs or generic bulk media. They don't really care about selling individual titles. They care about the bulk titles. Um, this is kind of how you can make money at Dollar Tree. You think about what Dollar Tree does. They're not in the business of squeezing out every dollar on every item. They're in the business of making things cost a reliable amount so people with not a lot of money can budget for it. They say, okay, I have 10 bucks for snacks. I'll go there for snacks. I have five bucks for cleaning supplies. I'll go there for cleaning supplies. I have two bucks for DVDs. I'll go there for DVDs. The customers don't go there trying to find these specific titles. They go there saying, hey, I have this much money. So what we're gonna do is take our phone and just shine the camera over the barcode. And just like that, it pops up. Viking Quest. It says that it's selling for $6.49 FBA, and the sales rank is about 78,000. Based on the rules we've set forth, this DVD does match sales rank criteria, but as you can see, the lowest FBA price is too low. This would go into a bulk lot based on genre. So now that we know how to scan these DVDs and find the profitable ones versus the unprofitable ones, let's do a scanning montage. So it's all scanned and done and organized. It took me two and a half hours, so I guess I'm six and a half hours into this at this point. Uh, these are all the keepers, and I've organized them by title, so it's going to be easy to list using Inventory Lab. You can list them using just the basic Amazon Seller Central, or you could even do it with an eBay bulk uh, multiple listing. I use Inventory Lab. It's about 50 bucks a month. I like it, it helps my workflow be a bit more efficient, but by no means is it absolutely necessary. It's pretty much alphabetized. Occasionally I toss a few uh, non-alphabetically ordered uh, DVDs in there, but the, the you know, like all the B's here, all the C's there. So like right here, here's two BBC TV shows. The TV series like that generally do pretty good. We're seeing a lot of uh, indie films and then a lot of horror films as well. Like uh, B-grade indie horror movies, the kind that maybe you made fun of when you were a kid. The ability for these independent, like this right here, Fire Twister, or Chaws, or Belko Experiment. And they're not bad movies, they're just not ones that are being pushed nationally. I guess right now there's not even really movie theaters, so that might be a different... Uh, a different angle to this that I'm not even considering. A lot of people say that every Dollar Tree has the same DVDs. That is patently false based on what I just did. Uh, certainly they're going from the same like regional distribution hub. So every uh, Dollar Tree within 100 miles of you is gonna have uh, a higher likelihood to have duplicates, but they don't have the same titles and, you know, if you wanted to buy an Exo Squad, for example, at your Dollar Tree, it might not be there, even though it might be, there might be 25 copies across town. Back here are all my duds. Uh, these are the horror sci-fi duds. These are the religious duds, the kids duds, uh, comedy drama, comedy drama, action, and then the Blu-rays of various genres. I put these to the side because when you auction off DVDs or Blu-rays on eBay, Blu-ray lots as long as they're all individuals with no duplicates tend to get about two to four bucks per dvd whereas regular dvds are going to get about uh between 50 cents and a buck 50 maybe two bucks on auction in large quantities i did the math and there are 338 dvds i will sell individually there are 50 santa claus blu-rays that i'm going to sell around christmas uh there are 38 uh, Merchant Fulfilled DVDs that I'll sell for more than $18.66, which is a $10 profit. And there are 582 DVDs over on this side in the boxes right there that I'm going to have to sell bulk. So 582 bucks. Uh, 
that I didn't have to spend that I did anyways to give myself kind of a put myself in a pickle I guess you'd say and so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna list all these that's kind of boring who cares about that I'll give you an estimated how much I think they'll sell for um, based on the prices I'm doing but uh, you know it's gonna be I, I, if I had to guess I'd say I'll get about two to five bucks per DVD um, so I, I think it's gonna be a profitable endeavor but I don't think that uh, well I don't know huh well Let's go over to my main listing page and we're going to see what the total net profit is. After listing all of the DVDs that met my criteria, it looks like our total net profit is going to be $1,442.89. So here's where we are. We're already making back all of our initial investment on the FBA DVDs. And I still have all of these here. There's still like six or seven hundred. I probably could get a buck or two per DVD at an auction, at a local auction house up in Flint. I sent two packets of ten DVDs up there to see just as a test how they'll do. If you don't think that I'm going to break even on those DVDs, go on eBay and check sold listings. And you will see week after week after week there are thousands of people every year who sell new DVDs in bulk on auction. For over a dollar a piece. Uh, again, that's not profitable. I'm breaking even essentially, and maybe I'm losing a bit of money, but we're gonna say I'm breaking even because there are some that are gonna go for a buck fifty per DVD. It's just, you know, the law of averages. Still, though, we're not gonna add those into our profit total because I think for the sake and scope of this video, it makes more sense just to go off the sales that I'm extremely confident that are going to occur. How am I confident in that? because I understand how sales rank works because I can check the sales history of the DVDs around that sales rank to make sure that yes, they are actually selling. And even though it might take me three months to make this $1,442.89, um, I've only worked 10 hours. Amazon does all the storage, they do all the shipment, they do all the customer service. So from where I'm standing, even though it's gonna take three months to earn all this, I'm earning 140 bucks an hour and you can say well no you're not because you don't get a paycheck at the end of the week but this is not a paycheck at the end of the week kind of job it isn't even a job it's a uh, a way to make money and wouldn't you rather have ways to make money that you can turn on and turn off at your own leisure maybe that's just me i don't know i think this brings us to a good point of closure so we've worked about 10 hours made about 1450 bucks and those DVDs over there, there's about 600 of them. I'm going to take the comedy action titles that are not worth much and probably are not going to be worth much ever uh, to a local auction or on eBay. I haven't decided yet, but I'll break even on those. The remaining, I would guess, two or 300 DVDs that are horror or educational or sci-fi, I'm going to hold on to those for a year. And we'll check back up on the YouTube channel and my website as well with how much money I made in totality. But for the time being, just selling only the good ones, not wasting time trying to get 10 cents per DVD off those over there, we are making about 144 bucks an hour. What'd you think guys, like the video? Please give the video a like, subscribe, and put a comment below which kind of video you wanna see me make next. See you later, get out there and make some money because nobody else is doing it for you.